Did you know that a single matchstick-sized implant can protect you from pregnancy for up to three whole years? That's right, just one little implant. And poof, no more daily pills, no more fuss. Hello friends, welcome back to Friendly Health. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of birth control implants, but how exactly does it work? Let's find out. What is an implant? The birth control implant, also known as Nexplanon, is a small flexible plastic rod placed under the skin in your upper arm by a doctor or nurse. It's one of the most effective methods of contraception, as it's more than 99% effective at preventing pregnancy. That means less than one out of 100 women who use the implant will get pregnant in a year. But how does it work, and what are the benefits and drawbacks of using it? Let's find out. How do implants work? The implant works by releasing a hormone called progestogen into your bloodstream. This hormone does three things to prevent pregnancy. One, it stops your ovaries from releasing an egg each month. This is called ovulation, and it's the process that makes you fertile. Two, it thickens the mucus in your cervix, which is the entrance to your womb. This makes it harder for sperm to swim through and reach an egg. Three, it thins your womb's lining, where a fertilized egg typically implants and grows. This makes it less likely for a pregnancy to occur even if fertilization occurs. What are the advantages of using implants? The implant is very convenient as you don't have to remember to take a pill every day or change a patch or a ring every week. Once the implant is in place, you can forget about it for three years until it needs to be replaced. You can also have it removed at any time if you want to stop using it or try to get pregnant. Your natural fertility will return very quickly after removal. What are the side effects of the implant? The implant is not perfect, and it may not suit everyone. One of the most common side effects of the implant is that it can change your periods. You may experience irregular bleeding, spotting, or no bleeding at all. Some women may find this annoying or worrying, while others may enjoy having lighter or fewer periods. It's not harmful to have no periods, but consider this before deciding to have an implant. Another side effect of the implant is that it can cause acne, headaches, mood changes, weight gain, or breast tenderness. These are usually mild and temporary, and they may improve over time. Can implants prevent STIs? The implant does not protect you from sexually transmitted infections, STIs, such as chlamydia, gonorrhea, or HIV. One meaningful way to prevent STIs is to use condoms every time you have sex, even if you're using an implant or any other method of contraception. If you found this video beneficial, kindly give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I'll answer them as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and see you next time.